Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you aren't happy with the layout of the placeholders on your slide, you can apply a new layout to the slide. When you apply a new slide layout, you're determining what placeholders and other types of objects like movies, charts, would be placed onto the slide. There are layouts for title slides, for bulleted boxes, and other various types of slides you'll commonly have to present. Now after you've applied a design template using 97 or 2000, you'll actually be automatically prompted to select an auto layout. However, you can change the layout of a slide at any time that you wish. To apply or change an auto layout, just select the slide for which you would like to select the layout, and then choose Format from the menu bar, Slide Layout. In 2003 and XP, you could also simply use the drop-down at the right end of the task pane's title bar and choose Slide Layout from the drop-down menu. This then displays a listing of the possible layouts that you could use right in the task pane. Here you just select the layout that you would like and give it a click to apply it to the selected slide. If you're using 2000 or 97, once again, after choosing Format and Slide Layout, you would then be presented with the Slide Layout dialog box. Here, you just simply click on the style of layout you wish to apply to the selected slide, and then click Apply to apply it. Now all you need to do is type in your own information. And once again, you do this by clicking into any one of the placeholders, and replacing the text with your own. Each type of slide layout has its own placeholder scheme. And you can usually see that in the dialog box. So once you've applied the correct layout, just simply click and fill in the blanks to quickly and easily place your own content into the slide. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.